The Secretary to the Ministry of Public Enterprise, Ravindra Heva Vidharana, says that an investigation has been launched into the incident where the People's Bank granted a loan of 10 billion rupees to a company in which Jehanna Maratunga, who is a director of the bank, is functioning as the executive vice president. The Secretary to the Ministry added that the People's Bank was informed last week to produce all documents of the transactions to the Ministry. Ravindra Heva Vitharna adds that the details pertaining to how the loan was granted and what the collateral is will be thoroughly looked into during the investigation. Meanwhile, the Employees Union of the Bank of Ceylon say they are not content with the reply provided by the People's Bank to the questions that were raised on these transactions. We have requested the details regarding these transactions to an RTI. The bank has sent us the same release it sent out to the media. We do not have the adequate details. We have taken steps to request more details. But we now know that a committee is being appointed and it is being looked into at ministerial level. We hope to request in writing the details pertaining to these transactions from the ministry. We hope as a union that the committee will look into this properly and reveal the truth to the people of the country. The people who wear suits and sit on those chairs did not work to bring this government into power. They were not the people who were assaulted and beaten. The directors who hijacked this have now received the opportunity. As a government which is against thievery and corruption, there can be people like this. If there are people like this, we urge the government to punish them. How many investigations were carried out by the police FCID regarding large-scale financial misappropriations of this nature? Several investigations have been concluded and the files had been sent to the Attorney General's Department for cases to be filed. How many cases have been filed by the Attorney General's Department? When will the law be enacted on people who have defrauded public funds?